Okay, so how was which which one did you go first, second, and third? Florida was first. I went to Tech twice. I took an unofficial and an official to Tech. Unofficial to Florida, I took my official visit to Miami. So it was uh, Tech first, Florida, Miami, Tech again. Okay, so Florida. This is just a documentary just dropped on these times from like 2009, uh, yeah. 2010, where. where Urban Myers, Tebow, mm -hmm. Percy Harvin, mm -hmm. Spikes, mm -hmm. I mean, the Pouncy Twins. Mm -hmm. You're getting recruited by them. Take a guess. Watch this. Take a guess at who was my host. Probably wasn't Percy, but it had to be Tebow. Aaron Hernandez. Are you serious? Dead serious. Aaron Hernandez. <laughs> Aaron Hernandez was showing me around campus on my recruiting trip, bro. So what was your thoughts on him, like, first time meeting him? He was mad cool. For real. Bruh, cool as hell. Like Aaron Hernandez was your yikes. I met Calais Campbell on my visit to Miami. Okay. Yeah. So Aaron Hernandez taking you around. Did you go out while you was there? Because I heard they ran, the, I mean, they ran Gainesville. Yeah, yeah we went out. Okay, so we ain't gonna talk about that. Uh, it was a good time. I'll I heard that. literally Urban Myers let you hold the trophy. Hold the trophy and put the ring on, bro. I got, the, on, I got the picture of my mama house. Uh, uh, rumors was it Tebow was texting your phone and Percy and them. Everybody was really like, "Look, we gotta have you." What were they recruiting you as, offense or defense? Offense. Okay. Yeah. So how was that like just getting texts from Tebow? I mean, because he was big at the time. He was major. I mean, it was cool. They were just kind of like, you know, saying what's up, just showing a face. Like, okay. you know, we love you, be a part of the team, this, that, and the third. Um, it wasn't nothing too crazy. Um, it was dope, you know. But I had already talked to all the guys in person, so it was kind of like just them reaching out saying okay. what's up. But, I mean, they were all cool dudes, man, all laid back. Uh, Percy was Percy. <laughs> he was mad. He was still cool. They all showed love. Um, you know, it's just like being around the guys. Just okay. Being around the team, it was all love. Um, I did love the way that they competed at practice, though. For real? Man. Okay. They was getting after it out there, bro. So I read that, you know, it really was a, a, a two-team race, Virginia Tech and Miami. That didn't uh, know, yep. I think it was on 24-7 Sports that it was Miami and Tech. Uh, why did you X Florida out of that? Um, So it was more so just like knowing now, Went on what I know about myself now, I wasn't sure how I would handle the being that far away from home. Like, okay. you know, I was super close to my family, both yeah. sides. Mom, dudes, pop, my cousins, my brothers, okay. sisters, all that. So, you know, I wasn't sure how I would, you know, do with that. Mom, dudes wanted me to be close so she can come to the games. You know, okay. we ain't had a whole lot of bread and all that. So she yeah. had, like, stuff with me, buying plane tickets, stuff. Knowing what I know now about the SEC. You could have asked we for would, it. We you should have been, been cool. like, hey, look, my mom need to move down here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We would have been cool. But yeah. my dad and my godbrother were both was like, yo, my dad worked for the shipyard. She was like, I can get a job down there. It's on the coast. I know they got a base. Yeah. And then my older brother was like, um, he has a transfer and go to school down there if I wanted to go there. Okay. So I still would have had family with me, but it was just, I mean, I didn't know as much about football. I was following basketball my whole life. You, I okay. can tell you anything about basketball, Jordan, Kobe, Shaq, all of them. Mm -hmm. I didn't follow football as heavy. I watched NFL, but not college as much. Okay. So I didn't know that the SEC was what it, what is. it was. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Had I known that then, Easy. Florida, on. Georgia, LSU, and then LSU was telling me that <laughs> I, I I don't know if I ever asked EJ about this. I think we might have had a conversation about it at one of the combines or something. LSU was saying that if I committed there, EJ was going to go there. EJ Manuel. Mm, yeah. So I was like, wow. Maybe. But uh, yeah, he wanted me bad. I mean, I would have definitely treated it a lot different knowing now if I knew now, knew back then what I know now about the SEC and college and all that. But I mean, Tech was just. What sold me on tech was the recruiting class they was putting together. Cause mm -hmm. you remember it was me, Marcus Davis, they got Ryan Williams, my cousin yeah. that played Ocean Lakes, Randall Dunn, Jared Boykin, Xavier Boyce. Yeah, was, Cam was already Cam there. Cam was already there. Uh, and then they still had uh, Tyrod Ty was Rod, there. Yeah. And then we still had um, that all line that was there, Sergio and all them boys. And um, we still had Macho and we still had um, Rock. And all them guys, Jason, where we had, they had some dogs up there. Yeah. And what sold me was I took my visit to Miami. They played UVA, lost. Mm. And then I took my visit to Tech. They just had me playing Miami. 
Miami lost. Mm. So I'm like, well, if they, you know what I'm saying, they the ones dominating and winning. That's where I need to be. That's where I need to be. I don't know okay. where to win that. You know, that's back then when Tech was on that bowl streak. They was ranking top 10 in the country almost every, every year, year, going to a yeah. bowl every year. So it was like, I want to be where we're going to win that. And they're looking at the guy. I knew all the guys that they were bringing in from Virginia and everywhere else. I'm like, looking at this class and what they got now, we should win some. 